Assalamualaikum. This is R P H Fia with a new video of the antimicrobial drug. And in this video, I'm covering the disease leprosy. Leprosy is also known as the Hansen disease. In the paper or in the screening test, you will ask the drug of the choice for the Hansen disease, not for the leprosy. So the drug of the choice for the Hansen disease is Dapsone. Its basic mechanism of action: it inhibits the dihydrotyrotate synthesis. It's just bacteriostatic. For the arm leprosy, it is also used in the pneumonia, which is caused by the pneumonocystitis gyrosi in the immunocompromised patient, and it is highly distributed in skin. It is eliminated in urine. Its basic and the important characteristic ADR are hemolysis with hemoglobinemia and peripheral neuropathy. The next drug of for this disease is clofazine. Clofazine is a phenazine dye. It is bind with the DNA. It is bactericidal, whereas in the case of the dapsone, it is bacteriostatic. For the same microbe, that is M. leprae. It causes the pinkish to brown discoloration to the skin, and it having the anti-inflammatory and the anti-immune activity, a condition which is known. As erythema nodosum leprosum, it's caused by the dapsone. Sorry, it is caused by in the case of the leprosy or the Hansen disease. But with the use of this drug, that is clofazimine, clofazimine, it will not causes the condition which is known as erythema nodosum leprosum. Thank you so much for watching the video and watching the anti-tuberculosis series.